Hello YouTube, this is Big Joe, and welcome back to the Toro. Um, I found myself in a big pickle a while ago, or earlier when we were shooting this, and I noticed while we were cleaning the carburetor over here, that the oil filter on this over here, it looked like it was dirty, so I took it off. And inside actually was the oil filter itself, and this is it here. It just disintegrated, and uh, is all rusted out and everything. And uh, I was going to buy a new one, but like as I said, we're just trying to find out if this motor runs. And um, I assume they parked it because the starter was bad. You know, the starter was bad. And I figure everything else got all mucked up and dirty because it was left sitting. So, what I did was I had a Briggs & Stratton oil filter. And it would not fit. Just a hair too big. So, what I did was I took the inside. I pried it apart. And here it is. The old one. Or the Briggs and Stratton one. Just pried those bars back and I took the filter out of it. And I stuffed it in there. So now it's got a clean filter. It was pretty clean. Looked almost new. So the gasket that went around it was all bad. And it was all old and dry rotten and cracked up. So I flicked it, flaked it off, cleaned it up, wiped it out. First I spun the motor over just to make sure the valves moved, which they do. They work pretty good. So I put it all back together and I used this gasket sealant. And uh, let's see if I can figure out where I laid it. Mega Blue Gasket Silicone Maker. Uh, this end up here was plugged up, so I had to cut a hole down here, so I'll just buy another package, but it's, uh, it's for water, oil, not for gas, so I'm, I'm thinking this will work, and if it doesn't, I mean, I'm only doing this to see if this motor will run, if I can... Get it to run. That's why I'm not really putting no money into it. Uh, trying not to put any money into it, really. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it back together and uh, let this stuff dry overnight. In fact, I'll probably let it dry over the weekend. It only says 15 minutes, but you know, why let all that hard work go to waste if I crank it up two days later, or a day later, or in the morning which will probably be like 12 hours later and it's not fully dried and it screws it up and I don't want an oil leak so and I'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, spark plug in it let's get this over here for you y'all can see it I bought a new spark plug yesterday to put in it and you're probably saying, well, why would you buy a new spark plug if you don't want to put no money into it? Well, if it doesn't run, I can always take the spark plug back out. Now I got to find my spark plug change socket. Where I last had it, I don't know. Here it is. I believe this is uh, 13 sixteenths. Well, doesn't want to let go. Thank you. Put this over to the side. That goes down in there, just like so. There we go. And here's my record. Uh, 
I'm curious to see what this spark plug looks like. Damn. Didn't want to let go. Probably never been changed. Well, it don't look too bad. It's probably dead from sitting. I didn't mean to do that. I pulled the little gasket out that keeps the spark plug from breaking. There's the spark plug. Doesn't look too bad. But I did buy a new one, so that's what we're going to put in it. New spark plug. Uh... I think it's in this bag. Yep. RJ19LM. I think that's what this one is too. It's a... It's a J19LM. I don't know what the difference is. We'll line them up. Look the same to me. This might be, uh, might have just changed it or something. Might have just changed the numbering on it or anything. Who knows? They're always changing something. Spark plug is pre gapped. I don't really check the gapping. I probably should, but I don't. Screw it in nice and slow. There you go. Take your ratchet and just snug it up. Don't over tighten it. Because you will wring it right out. There you go. Now you just stick spark plug wire back on it. It's on there. Now, stick this thing back on there. It's still fairly yucky looking. Let's see. Do I got any more carburetor cleaner left? I'm almost out of carburetor cleaner. There we go. Let's see if we can move you over here without flopping over the camera. Oh, made it move a little bit. Now, slide this joker back on. Sun's a little bright today, don't y'all think? Well, let's get this thing situated first. And then we'll tighten it on down. Or... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the gasket. Oops. Almost screwed up again, y'all. Luckily, this gas getting too bad. I'll stick a smidgen of uh, this gasket sealing on there. That sort of helped glue it back together. Let's see here. There we go.
go. A little bit more smidgen of gasket sealing on there. Definitely don't want this carburetor to be leaking. Alright. Now, where did I put my screwdriver? <laughs> 10, we're at 11 minutes. Oh. I'll go ahead and stick this back on. Then we'll probably end the video. Now, if you're probably wondering, once I get it put back together, will I uh, put the housing back on? And no, I won't, because I need to see if she'll run. I'll need to see that. And if she doesn't run, that way I don't have to take the housing back off to change the engine. Well, anyway, that does it for this little episode, I guess you could call it. Uh, we got spark plug change. I describe, tell you hold. Yeah, told you how to how I did the uh, oil filter. Now we're reattaching this. Until next time.